All right, so today is a great day. It happens to be my birthday, and we get a purple chest on my birthday. So let's see what we get. Okay, uh, well, yeah, uh, we just got the beaver pet. <laughs> Chopping teaks on Fossil Island. This is the second beaver pet I've had, actually. I had one on my main account that I got on 96 woodcutting at Redwoods, and now I get one at teaks on Fossil Island at 86 woodcutting. Which is, yeah, that's kind of nuts. This is actually pet number five for me, which is amazing. I didn't, I have some really good luck on pets on this account. I'm not going to lie to you. Items, not so much. Pets, yes. So pet number five is the beaver. Really low woodcutting level to get it, especially at teaks too. That's, I feel like the chance of that is really high. But I haven't had a pet in quite some time. I think it's been six months since my last pet. So what should I name this? As you guys know, my, my pets are all named after douchebag guy and girl names. So Hmm, got to think of a, of a douchey name that starts with a B. Got to think about it. All right, back to Probita. I'd like to insure a pet, please. Mr. Beaver here, 500K, so expensive, I know. Okay, you can now, your pet's now insured. You can reclaim it for it. Perfect. All right, we've now spent, what, 2.5 mil on pets, but pets are awesome. They're kind of worthless, but they look cool. So, hello, Mr. Beaver. Whoa, sick. That's my one of my best ever clue scrolls. No way. A ranger's tunic, 6.2 mil. Jesus, finally pays off. I finally get a good clue scroll. It's my first ever elite clue, I feel like. That's over 300k. That's a pretty sick drop. A ranger's tunic. I wonder if that's, like, good anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'll ever use it. I might, I might wear it around for the swag, but 6.2 mil... Can't beat that. Couple room bars, couple planks as well. Easy clap for the Ranger's tunic. Nice. Profit made. Profit. I don't really know what this is even. Maybe it's good for purists, but for the main account, not so much. But it's worth something, and it's kind of like a completionist item, so good to get. Knocked out two woodcutting levels while on this construction grind, and also the beaver pet, which you guys just saw. But 88 woodcutting, 2156 total. Hopefully, I can get 90 on this grind to get all these logs for construction, and then I can do some AFK redwoods, which would be great. All right, here we go. You know... <laughs> I would be happy. I would be happy, but this is my third pair of dragon claws. It's my third pair, so I mean, it's a it's a good item. Like it's I can drop it to my main, can bank 60 mil, but it's my third pair, dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's on the Dragon Hunter crossbow drop table, too. It actually might be more rare, I don't know. Uh, okay. I mean, it's not a bad item. It's one of the more expensive items to have, so it's a free 60 mil. It's like membership for like seven months or something. So there's that, I guess. But uh, okay, I'm not mad, but I'm I'm just a little disappointed. That's all. God Sword Shard 1. Well, it's a drop. Another Sarah Trip, another God Sword Shard. So I do need God Sword Shards. I'm not complaining. I do need God Sword Shards. So it is uh, a good drop to have. Can way we just got an ACB. There's no way we just got an ACB. No way I just got an ACB, dude. That's so early, bro. That is insane, dude. That's so lucky. That's so lucky, bro. I'm sorry. That's so hype, dude. That is no way, bro. That's fuck. I was I was expecting like 500 kills at Sarah before I got an ACB. Bro, that's nutty, man. Wow. Okay, sick. I'm happy about that, bro. That's wild. I'm out, bro. I'm done. I I don't want to be I don't want to come back here. I'm leaving. All right, there's another 90 skill in the bag. 90 woodcutting. Going to unlock redwoods off this, which is pretty sweet. Nice AFK way to get up your woodcutting levels. The thing is, I still need to be here for quite some time because I need to get up my construction, which requires a lot of teak planks. And these teak logs are my way of getting teak planks. I think at the moment I have 16,000 teak logs left until I have 99 banked. I could do the like the mythical cape racks to save some logs and some planks. But I'll probably just do a couple of those or a couple thousand maybe or something. And then the rest will be done with teak benches. Or I have to figure it out. You guys will see it in later clips. But biggest thing here is 90 wood cutting. Another 90 skill is done. All right. So I plan on doing some forecast because I need some extra cash for my construction grind. And I don't have tacits. I could go for them. But instead, I'm going to decide to go for some obsidian legs to start because they're pretty decent there. So I have my tackle. Going to buy some obsidian plate legs. Boom. There we go. These actually are pretty decent, especially on an early game account. Don't really know why I'm going to use them now, but hey, I have the Chaos Runes. I might as well. So let's see how they uh, perform at Vorka. 
ACP right here. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. The first piece of armadillo. I called the wrong one again, dude. <laughs> Let's go, boys. First piece of arma. One to go. 79 KC. Feels really good. Feels super good, man. That was a little bit lucky. 79 KC. That's a little bit lucky. I'll take that. Hey. That's a great drop. I I only have one God Sword Shard 1. That makes it two. I now have I can now make two complete God Swords. So I just need I need one more set of shards and I'm done. No way. <laughs> God Sword Shard 2. Okay. I see you. I'll take it. Any drop any drop is good. Any drop is good. Okay, so we have four God Sword Shard 2s, two God Sword Shard 1s, two God Sword Shard 3s. So we can make two more two more full God Swords. Uh, we still need one Shard 1 and one Shard 3, and then we'll have all the Shards we need. But we've had quite a few. All right, there it is. 100 Armadillo kill count. This boss is not too bad. It's kind of annoying. But actually, the only thing annoying about this boss is really hunting the Chins. The boss itself isn't too hard to kill. I mean, you're getting usually 10 plus kills a trip, which is better than Bandos and better than Zami for me, so... I really can't complain. Hopefully we get a bit lucky. Going to exchange my fire cape right now for a chance at the infernal cape. We only have to do this. I have the cape on me. What do you mean? I want to sacrifice my cape. Okay. Hand it over. Hand it over. Yes. Here you go. Okay. So that's gone. But now we can go into the inferno and unlock the music track. Right? And then in the future, hopefully very soon... We'll be doing this on a daily basis and going for the Infernal Cape. But right now, I'm going to do this on my first try. No food, no potions, only prey flicking. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The Inferno. So that was my fastest ever raid. I just broke my personal best by over a minute. Previous was a 2650. This one's a 2543. So can we be blessed with the purple? We cannot. Kind of stinks. 598, two away from 600. Dragon arrows, though. I'll take dragon arrows for the future Tebow. Can't complain. Length of time suck, but really good time there. We have just reached 600 total raids on the account. We've been doing really good with no prepping and 4 to 0 and everything. So, can we celebrate 600 with a purple? We can. Oh my god. I was not expecting that at all. I was legit expecting a white chest. I was legit just straight up expecting a white chest. This never works out for me. It never works out when I record a YouTube clip and I look at it. And it's a, I'm just not going to hype this one up. Oh, man. I'm so sick of prayer scrolls. I'm so sick of prayer scrolls, dude. I'm sorry for complaining. I'm just... I really want... To, I want a unique so badly, dude. I want a unique so badly. All right. Well, if we take a look at my collection log, uh, we can see... We have five Dexes, six Arcanes. What a weird... Honestly, what a weird table that we have. Look at it. Three Claws. The only duplicates we have are Claws and Prayer Scrolls. And then six Onyxes. And then full Ancestral Buckler Omelet. It's just so, so weird. It's so weird. I guess it is cool to get a drop at 600, though. That's really nice. Uh, but... Still hurts a little bit. Another day, another 90 skill. 90 smithing is done. We can now make rude sims. What else? Rune arrows, heads, spears, rune dragons, dragonfire shield, dragonfire war, dragon play pot. Wow. 90 unlocks a lot. This is great. The cool thing is, like I said, we're getting close to base 90 on this account. I'm not even that close on my main. So the fact that we almost have it on here is pretty insane. However, there's two really big ones that are kind of in the way. Mining and rune crafting. We'll eventually do those in the future. I promise. I just, at the moment... Have no plans for it. We're one away from fishing. I have all my construction stuff banked. I have 99 done, as you guys saw already. And then, wait, hold on. Just agility. And then that's it. We're base 90. And we're a good Iron Man. <gasps> no way, dude. Oh, I'm so sad, chat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. There's the duplicate. I figured it would happen. Uh, I figured it would happen, dude. I legit figured it was going to happen sometime. I knew it was going to happen on one of these God Wars bosses. Ah, that was it. That was the that was the ACP. All right. Well, that's my first... I mean, honestly, if there's any time to get a duplicate, right? A duplicate chain skirt worth 33 mil, kind of sick. 
makes the bank value go up like crazy. So that's always a good thing. But ooh, on the same drop table as the ACP, it would have been uh, a really cool to, to finish it right there. So as you probably can guess from previous clips, we have finished everything we need for 99 construction. And the reason I want this cape so badly is because it gives you unlimited house teleports, which means I'll never have to make any of these teleport to house suckers ever again. And that was absolutely fantastic. The issue is... It's quite a lot of grinding to 99, and I fully expect to have arthritis in my right hand when I finish this. But I figured I'd show you guys all the planks I made for this. So we have over 64,000 regular teak planks. We have 18,000 plus mahogany, and then 3,000 of these oak planks. We also have these curved bones. Well, we have three of these, and then we have long bones as well. Quite a lot of them, 24, and that adds up to almost 200k XP, which is pretty cool. But the uh, the GP going into this is pretty high. We're talking over 90 million GPs worth of planks. About 20,000 or so are going towards Myth Cape Racks, and then the rest of these are, I think, going towards benches. So this grind is officially underway. It is a big one, but it is one that I think I really have to do. 90 construction, another 90 skill achieved. What do we get here? The Occult Altar, we already boosted for that. Ornate Rejuvenation Pool, already boosted for it. Storage Unit, Dagonoth, Troll Guard, and all that stuff I don't really care about. But, I mean, check it out, man. The base 90s are just coming in hot. The only two skills, like I said, besides Agility and, uh, what is it? What else is it? Agility and Fishing are just Mining and runecrafting. 2165 total, man. We're killing it. Okay, and we finally have gotten 92 construction. I tell you, these myth capes are good, but they get really boring really quickly. But we are officially halfway to 92. We are done with the myth cape racks. We're going to move on to the benches and the tables for well, mahogany tables and teak benches. And it should go by a lot quicker now. Wow.